Welcome back. I am Chan the Tech Man, and this is Siberia. Thank you for watching. Uh, this is my Let's Play of Siberia, and uh, I love this game. It's beautiful. If you've been watching, you've heard that before. Um, it's it's an awesome game, and uh, I know you and will enjoy it too. If you haven't been watching these, uh, go watch my other videos of this and uh then keep watching them and my website is chansmith.me the the uh, link will be in the description of this video let's go ahead we left off there so uh so far i have not had any glitches I don't think there's anything I can do over here. I think I done been there. I know I did. Gotta click in the right spot. Let's, let's just go in. They want to see me. There's some mammoths. And uh, what that is. Looks like a Hello. cop. Hey baby, you party? You sure looking mighty fine. Love those big round eyes. Just who do you think you are? Hey, he's spunky. I'd like that in a lady. Okay, I'm hooked. Come on, Zol. I'll let you buy me that coffee. <laughs> I don't remember ever asking. Hey, don't play hard to get. I know you like it big time. What? Listen, kid. Go back home and play with your toy cars and forget you ever saw me. Hello. <laughs> hey, baby. Just who I guess that's hey. all you can say <laughs> to him. Listen. Um... something there but over there some kind of it looks like Hans has definitely been here and it looks like one of his things there on that uh, um, over to your right but I am not gonna fool with that yet okay go forward um, there's the, a mammoth, so he's, like I said, he's been here. Okay. What is that? Looks like something there, but. <laughs> Can you not interact with him? not huh. let's see what that is <laughs> now he's there again. I guess I can't do anything in there. Go around the other side. That's lights is what that is. That's interesting. No point. It's locked. Uh oh. It's locked. Probably just another door goes out. It's kind of a round, half a circle. Looks like she about fell. Yeah, like I said, that's that's why it's locked. It's blocked off. Can I 
Come on. Let's go before I go there and go through. Let's go around and see. Obviously, can do something up there. Come on. That one's pulled out. Okay. And she's going to read it on the ladder. Uh, Dictionary of Plants and Mushrooms. Natural Science Department. This uh, is a, that's a mushroom with out stem. It grows on the side of a tree. It looks like I think I've seen this, those type. I don't know if this is a made-up mushroom or not, but I've seen those type. It has a chewy texture. It is a member of the polypore family and grows exclusively on the trunks of certain trees. That's what I thought on trees of the Amazonian jungle. While it is edible when young, the blah, 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 has a woody texture and ensued, spewed, insipid, insipid flavor and offers new great oh, I can't even see that I can't even see what that is <laughs> uh, anonary appeal native Amazonian tribes however are very attached to the mushroom while they are so I can't even see that fond of the fungus has taken extensive scientific research to it's hard to read this it's L it's either L or E L lucid to I don't uh, educate I, I, maybe I can't see that this handwriting Biologists have researched the conclus conclusion, reached the conclusion that the uh, blah 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 contains a special substance that is unique to the mushroom. The substance significantly affects vision and enhances the um, acuteness and normalcy. Amazonian Indian hunters discovered this effect and started using the using it centuries ago. The Yanger cola is uh, dried and ground to a powder and consumed before the hunt commences. Its effect is instantaneous and the uh, penetration of the hunter's vision increases extraordinary the hunter is then able to aim and hit targets concealed behind thick undergrown undergrowth even over great distances okay i guess that's what i'm supposed to read we may be using that i don't know that's what's that oh of course it is Uh oh, there's somebody there. Hello. Shh, don't talk so loud. I'm sorry, but I was wondering if you could help me. Can't you see I'm very busy? What are you looking for? None of your business. Now, if you don't mind, I am trying to concentrate. I haven't got a lot of time left before Professor Ponza's next tutorial. Professor Pons, you say? Would you mind working elsewhere, please? Hello. Shh. I'm so can't. What are you? None of Professor. <laughs> I guess that uh, takes care of that.
There's nothing can I no, you know. There's another ladder. There's nothing there. See thing. Let's go down here. She looks like she's about ready to fall when she stops to go down. Excuse me. <clears throat> Can I disturb you a second? No. You could be a little bit nicer about it. Keep quiet, in case you haven't noticed. We're somewhere that requires silence and tranquility. Another book, Arizona. A ostrich or something on there. There's, we saw those at, at the uh, train station. Red Amazon cuckoo. This subspecies uh, of the common uh, ba -ba -ba is a endemic to the Amazon forest and is one of the region's most brightly colored species. The male plumage is bright, uh, while the females is a little more russet and neutral. Habits and food. The red cuckoo inhabits the more isolated and dense areas of the Amazon forest, it is reliant on the thick upper foliage of the rainforest to live its lonely existence. The explorer may nevertheless have an excellent view of the bird when the animal ventures in lower branches in search of forest grapes, the wild Vines provide the bird with the major, uh, majority of its food. The cuckoo is particularly partial to its juicy fruit. The red cuckoo may sometimes gorge itself on this fruit to the point of drunkenness, rendering it an easy prey for any jungle predator eat and be eaten. Such is the uh, place uh, in placeable law of nature. The species of cuckoo is a red Amazon cuckoo dele uh, delegates a task of raising its young to other birds. This parasitic behavior enables the species to produce prolifically and with minimal efforts. The female cuckoo sc uh, scoots, scouts its territory on the lookout for for a nest under construction, he chooses. She chooses the moment when its owner is absent and to lay her eggs. Generally, in the afternoon, the host, meanwhile, will lay may, uh, mainly in uh, lay mainly in the morning. After laying an, an egg in her selected nest, the female will remove one of the host's eggs and destroy it or eat it later. The cuckoo's egg generally hatches before the eggs of its adopted brothers and sisters. The cuckoo chick will instinctively edge the other eggs from the nest. The young cuckoo grows fast. Sometimes its foster parents will perch on the back of the hungry chick to feed it. Even if the cuckoo's uh, egg is very different to the smaller host eggs, it nevertheless mimics the host egg in certain ways, not perfectly but just enough to be accepted by most species. The red cuckoo's love of the grape could sadly prove fatal for the species in the medium term. European settlers who have tried to cultivate the grape on the Amazonian plains have decimated the Amazon uh, cuckoo population. Grape producers to protect their harvest from what they would call looting have declared all-out war on the bird it is to be feared that the cuckoo will be on the losing side the cuckoo 
uh, reproduce relatively well in captivity and is one of the jewels of the crown of the that's like I said that's the one I saw Arthrological collection however scientists at the university have their own reservations about the species and it's propensity to become practically invasive whenever conditions are favorable to it to the detriment of other rare species heads of the well uh, so have therefore undertaken a policy of birth control to attempt to balance out nature's imperfections in this artificial environment the forest and the grapes today it is very rare to find the forest and the grape in the wild the species has been decimated by the epidemic some kind of disease however in Europe successful cultivation of the plant is a pride of the, the and has largely contributed to the survival of species around the world okay well we'll probably had to do is find one of those grapes those grapes and give it to them so we can climb up that ladder I'm just a guessing it's a light I guess it looked like a person I can't talk to them so let's get out of here if we can or how do we get out of it okay we just have to go back down and go where we came from thought there was another door I should have remembered that but I didn't Let's see there's something over here and there he is Okay. There's the people I guess I needed to see. Good day to you, gentlemen. Tell me, young lady, to what do we owe this pleasure? Please do be brief. We do not have very much time on our hands. As rectors of this university, we have serious matters to attend to, and our time is precious. I have heard you wish to meet the owner of the train that is currently in your station. May I know the reason for your summons? We are surprised that your train has not yet left, miss. The situation is most regrettable. The rules do clearly state that trains are meant to come and go and not remain stationary at a platform. Trains should first stop, then subsequently leave. That is the rule. We agree then, dear colleagues, that what we're dealing with is deviant behavior. This matter really is cause for concern. It's a clockwork train, you see? So it needs winding up again? Unfortunately, there is no equipment in the station to do this. A clockwork train? That's strange. How very quaint. You mean it's some sort of mechanical toy? You are causing a hindrance to us, miss. I am very hopeful that I will find what I need along the wall. The, the wall? Uh, miss, that really is not a suitable place for you to go. Especially for a young lady. You see, miss, we freely admit that every day we praise the existence of that particular edifice. We owe the integrity of our dear university and the fine education it provides to the wall. It protects us from harm and invasion from the unknown. May God protect us from what is beyond those ramparts, miss. Please believe me. I don't have any choice. I must continue my journey. Uh, such a decision is a correct one, since it's in line with regulations. Thus, your train will indeed be able to leave. And consequently, cease to obstruct our station. I haven't introduced myself. My name is Kate Walker. Walker, Walker, haven't we already had a Miss Walker? Ethnology Masters, September 1953, if my memory serves me correctly. Perfectly well, my dear colleague. But if I may be so bold, it was a Mr. Walker and not a Miss. It was Bill Walker, sat this June 68 exams. The impudent fool turned up for the oral assessment in jeans, flouting strict internal regulations which explicitly state the required uniform for the occasion. 
pure incitement. It was scandalous. Sadly, we have seen worse since. Young people lack all respect of traditional values. Tradition, young lady. One must always uphold a tradition. You see, I didn't actually intend to stop here, but the springs of my train gave up, you see? No, not really. You mean to say you're not a student? You have arrived a little late in the term, Miss. Enrollment for this year has already terminated. But as rectors of this university, and therefore representatives of its highest authority, we could bend the rules a little, if you like. You don't understand. I'm a lawyer from New York. Or, rather, Valadilen, more precisely. My client wants to buy out an old mechanical toy factory, but its heir isn't actually dead and is living somewhere in Siberia. I've got to get to him to sign the sales contract. You see? Not really. This is a most peculiar tale. A kerfuffle of the highest order. We have an excellent law school, if you should ever change your mind. Can you possibly help me out here? Miss, your insistence is almost verging on indecency. We cannot constantly be at your disposal. We have many other requests to attend to. If you don't mind, could you not disturb us all the time? Thank you. Does the name Hans Vorlberg mean anything to you by chance? Ah, one of the brightest, most idealistic intellects to have graced our university. Hans Svorlberg. I remember speaking to him once. I was still a student at the time. He just stared at me, lost in thought for a while. He scarcely ever said a word. But how can one forget him? Idealistic? I'll grant you that. But bright? Oh, don't go too far. He was completely incapable of passing any exams. All he ever did was to sit in on lessons, and not many of them either. Paleontology, mainly. He had an unhealthy passion for mammoths, which matched the state of his intellect perfectly. That is to say, prehistoric. Prehistoric? How dare you? A little far-fetched, maybe. But he did have flashes of intellectual brilliance, comprehensible only to high-minded scholars who hold no score by appearances. My dear colleague, your hasty conclusions are somewhat cavalier. My assessment is wholly accurate. The boy was a little odd. You must concur if my father, who was rector of the university at the time, had not shown great indulgence towards him. Hans Vorlberg would have never attended this establishment. What about the bandstand, then? Is that the work of a deranged mind? Even after all these years, you are still jealous of it. My dear colleagues, I beseech you, let's show some decorum. We have a visitor. Uh, what do you want with Hans Vorlberg, miss? Uh, are you a member of his family? No, no, not at all. I'm looking for him to clear up an inheritance matter. Is he still here? What? Here? At the university? <laughs> no, not at all. He left a long time ago. Yes, a very long time ago. The very year I was nominated to this position, in fact. Almost 50 years ago already. The poor soul moved on once he learned all he needed to know about mammoths. Ah, this establishment was never quite the same after his departure, it must be said. You mean to say it was never as bad? All that Oddball brought to this university was his misplaced fantasies. Gentlemen, gentlemen, let's try to retain the calm and level-headedness that befits our position. <laughs> Excuse me. Miss, we find ourselves terribly put out by the presence of your train in our station and by its recurrent immobility. Indeed, the situation is very regrettable. Your huge locomotive is very cumbersome. A train should first stop, then subsequently leave. That is the rule. That idea of the station aviary is really very original. It's the pride of our university. One of the specialties taught here is zoology, you see, and more particularly, ornithology. Proper study and instruction should not be limited to books. Observation of living matter is indissociable from theoretical questions. It contains some very rare specimens that have been brought back from far away exotic countries, especially for our university. 
by the world's most intrepid explorers. Do you remember Alexander Valembois and his peculiar bird? Absolutely. His gift produced some very embarrassing long-term consequences. A poison chalice, indeed. It must be said, the situation could have been much worse, however. Oh, yes, it could have been terribly problematic. You wouldn't know if there is any forest sauvignon here in Barakstadt, would you? Absolutely. <clears throat> when he says absolutely, he means, of course, absolutely none. What we mean, of course, is that we are absolutely positive there is no forest sauvignon here in Barakstadt. Really? Are you sure? Because I read in a book that Barakstadt possesses a number of plants. I wouldn't mind getting a hold of some, if possible. Out of the question, miss. The assistant rector means to say that our priority is for you to remove your train from our station. Your research will have to wait until your next stop. Yes, that's right. Y your train must leave the station immediately, so please refrain from wasting our time in needless visitations. Don't forget the regulations, miss. Don't forget them. Trains should first stop, then subsequently leave. And quickly! That's a grape, I think. Some sailors have agreed to tow the train, but I don't have enough money to pay them. I was wondering if you could help me out for a while. I could work for the money. Please wait, miss. We have certain confibulations to attend to. That is right. We must confibulate between ourselves. A collegiate decision must be taken. I hope that we are not indisposing you in any way. <clears throat> Why not? If it helps us get rid of that train. My word, that is a fine idea. What do you have in mind, gentlemen? Hmm. When you arrived here, you must have noticed a splendid bandstand which honors the main university courtyard. A unique piece of mechanical craftsmanship which no longer works, alas. Why, yes, we have very moving memories of its melodies. We're prepared to offer you a financial reward if you can set it working again. With pleasure. What do I have to do? Unfortunately, my dear, time and rust have taken their toll on this university, and our automatons no longer have a spring in their step. <laughs> You are going to have to be resourceful. To tell you the truth, there are a number of complex mechanisms here in Barakstadt, and it would appear that we have unfortunately lost their operating instructions. Your train, however, is an extremely ingenious invention, so you should be no stranger to complex mechanisms, should you? Uh, we are therefore counting on your ingenuity, miss. I hope that I can show myself worthy of your faith in me, gentlemen. Well, my dear colleagues, one more university matter nicely tied up. Here we are, busy chat-chatting, and look at the clock. It's tea time. Already? My word, doesn't time fly by? Thank you for a charming visit, miss. And thank you, gentlemen. Well, we uh, found a way to get some money for the train. So uh, we'll do that and then work on more of that in the next video. Hopefully get the train going in the next video. We will see. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Chan the Tech Man. Remember my website. It's chanthesmith.me. Go there if you want to donate. The link will be on the website. Appreciate it. Help me keep going. I like smash that like button and hit the subscribe button and uh, get in the comment section and be nice. Share all my stuff on your social networking. Thank you and until next time.